Hello, people of the internet, and the the plan. And welcome back to the Kenmack League. It is cold tonight, so I have my hot chocolate, and I'm going to be sipping on that uh, throughout this because it is very, very cold, as I said. And uh, yeah, the heating hasn't come on yet, so. Uh, Anyway, it is um, Century United going up against Dunhill Electric Company from the Camp New that is just outside Dunhill, um, obviously. But yeah, Dunhill haven't been doing too well. Um, Centra, on the other hand, have been doing extremely well. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much the short uh, beginning, middle, and end of it. But anyway, uh, they do have a chance here to earn some points against a big team. Um, and the. Um, line up with Franz Beckenbauer as we often forget because they play so badly but they do have uh, Franz Beckenbauer in their team uh, Mark Allen is another good player Rajan Nangalan this team should really be doing a lot better than it is but for some reason they're not and now we move over to Centra who are making the best of their uh, excellent players with Benito Mussolini Spoderman and Mr. Tato performing uh, forming one of the deadliest front trios in the Kilmac League perhaps one of the best we've ever seen will it be enough though to break down Dunhill in front of their own home supporters we are about to find out it's Paul's Cats. Osama Bin Laden and Mark Allen. There's Benito Mussolini. Mussolini plays it through. He has a shot. Oh, he's at the post and he's hit it again and it's saved again. And uh, I forget who's on goal, but what a save there. But the ball is not away yet and that is a corner. Okay, it won't be a corner because that is half time. Nil all the score. Hopefully, a more entertaining second half away. There's Raja Nangilan. And uh, oh, he's put it through. Osama bin Laden has a chance here to get onto the ball, but oh no, it's played through and oh, very nearly uh, straight into the feet of Osama bin Laden. Mary Sexton has it now, and he plays it. And uh, oh, that's intercepted again by Dunhill, and that is a bad challenge. Uh, very dirty indeed. And um, yeah, you know, it's back and well, that's a good challenge there. Centre have it. Mr. Tato now, and Dennis Burkamp. Dennis Burkamp with the shot, and he's hit it wide. They won't want to lose any points here, Sentry, you have to say that. So Sam Bin Laden. There's Roger Nangalan, and Nangalan hits it over the top. This might be a last chance opportunity here for Dunhill to win the game, and they've got the ball inside the penalty area. It's played out, but no, it's not away yet. And it's Belwatch has it, and Belwatch can't quite get it anywhere. But uh, the ball is still with Dunhill and David Wan. Oh, what about that? But that's nil all. Now we move on to our second live game, just transitioning over. Kent FC versus AF Slavins, two top teams. And with central dropping points. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's going to go down as a meme or something. I don't know. But anyway, with central dropping points, as we've just seen, Kent and Flavins will look to capitalize and make up a huge ground on their opponents. Or um, I suppose to bridge the gap. I'd uh, bridge the gap. What am I talking about? Extend the gap uh, between them and Centra. Yes. So as we can see, it is the Lar Kent Arena hopping. Um, Lar only has four more games left before he officially retires from the Kilmac League. Uh, as we see, yes. So there he is. That is uh, number 19. Is one of the last times you'll ever see him line up. Uh, but yeah, he spearheads the diamond. It's been so effective all season long. It is going to be sorely missed. They're still looking for a replacement. Um, but, um, you know, hopefully they'll find someone. Anyway, uh, AS Flavins lining up pretty much the same as they always have. The uh, front duo of Keem Mulhern and Teresa Keem was not uh, rated very highly heading into the season. But they have proved to be very effective. Will they score goals today? We're about to find out. 90 minutes away from the verdict. Stark Kent swings it in. And the header, oh it's off the bar, and uh, it's not quite down yet, and it's knocked down, and it's in the back of the net. That is Gary Lineker with the goal. And Gary Lineker makes it 1-0. And, uh, well, he scored prettier goals in his career, but they all count, and that one was as scrappy as they come. Now, what a save there, it was off the bar I believe, and Gary Lineker just had a, a very easy task there, and good control by him, but, uh, there's Ferenc Puskas, Teresa Keane, Ferenc Puskas gets it back, and Puskas can't quite keep it down, 1-0 to uh, Kent. And uh, Ball of Beef has it, and Lar Kent, and he gives it away, uncharacteristic from Lar, and uh, Irvay Pantingo has it now, so, uh, the uh, <laughs> momentum switched back 
And Gary Lineker now, he's in. He's into the penalty area, and that is a penalty. No question about it. That's a very bad challenge. And they're all protesting the innocence of... Um, uh, I think that is... Yes, they're all protesting the innocence of the Bolivian Barra, who is... Or sorry, that is... Who is it? I don't know. Oh, sorry, that's Mick McCarthy. Excuse me. But yes, they're all protesting the innocence of Mick McCarthy there. Um... But uh, Lara Kent now, one on one with Dino's off. Legends, and oh, he's at the post. Oh my god, he missed the penalty. And now the ball is back in play, and uh, there's a free kick. Anyway, uh, that is a yellow card, and a second yellow. That's a red card. Oh no, it's a disaster for Flavins. Uh, Gary Lineker just getting brought down very rough there. But Lars stands over this free kick. That is uh, Pat Morrissey who has been sent off. And it's a free kick and it's very well aimed, but Zoff was equal. And now, Kim O'Hearn. Theresa Keane. Theresa Keane is in with the chance of the win, and it's a goal! An equalizer for AS Flavin. Right at the deadline, they have equalized. They have taken a victory out of the hands of Kent. With that brilliant finish from Theresa Keane, who has, who has just lit up this uh, Flavin's front attack. Keane Mulhern has been good, but it's undoubtedly Theresa Keane who is the star of this show. Is there any time left? You have to wonder. Lark Kent marches forward, and he is dispossessed. That is it. 1-1, an excellent, entertaining game. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, they share the spoils, so no team making any progress.